Back with another flash review of episode 2, Paradox. This week I only have my top 5 favorite moments because let's be honest, like the first half of the episode was pretty awkward. So let's get right into it. So at the end of Flashpoint, Barry realizes that, you know, him going back in time to save his mom was a bad decision because it created all these problems with him losing his memories and just too many things changing. So when he came back to his original timeline, he realized just how many things have changed, which started to really eat at him. In the first half of the episode, we find Barry trying to piece everything together and make things right. So once he found that his efforts were unsuccessful, he decided to go back in time again to try to fix things. And this brings me to my first favorite moment of the episode, when Jay Garrick stops Barry from going back in time and kind of pulls him out of the speed force and brings him into Central City 1998 to have a talk with him. He brings him into this diner where we see a cool little Easter egg on the TV screen, which it was playing an episode of Dawson's Creek. Which we know that the executive producer of The Flash, Greg Berlanti, was also a creator of that show. So that was kind of cool that they just, you know, put that in there. But back to Jay Garrick and Barry's conversation, I love how Jay Garrick really tried to just get through to Barry by telling him, like, look, I've been through this before. I've made the same mistakes you've made with trying to fix things and go back into the past. But just like I love the broken cup analogy, you could break a cup and try to piece it back together, but stuff will never be the same. And then I love the question he asked Barry, which was, what kind of hero do you want to be? Do you want to keep going back in time trying to fix things and keep making things worse? Or are you going to live with your mistakes and move forward? And I think that really hit home with Barry and those were the exact words he needed to hear. Favorite moment number two, when Joe and Iris finally made up. I just hated seeing them on the outs and not talking to each other. You know, they're just so cute together. I love their father and daughter relationship. And then to find out that Iris was mad at Joe for not telling her that her mom was still alive. And I was wondering, why wasn't the other Iris in the original timeline as mad at Joe for not telling her that her mom was still alive? And then I remembered it kind of got overshadowed when she met her mom and found out that she was hiding Wally, the, her little brother Joe's son. So I guess her secret was worse than Joe's. But all in all, I'm just happy that they made up after realizing that their relationship in the original timeline was way better and they shouldn't be fighting anymore because it was just stupid. Favorite moment number three was when Cisco came to save Barry while he was fighting Dr. Alchemy and the rival. Now the first half of the episode was difficult to watch, man. Like it was actually cringeworthy watching Cisco look just so gloomy and glum and dull and not talking to Barry and not even wanting to look at Barry because he was mad at him that he wouldn't go back in time to save his brother Dante from dying. And all in all, it was just hard to watch, man. Like one thing I realized while watching this episode was that Cisco really brings a lot of life to the show. And with him not being his usual happy-go-lucky joking around Cisco, it made everybody just so sad. And I was not happy watching it and I wanted them to hurry up and just make up already because it was really awkward and it was making me sad and mad and I hated it. So when Cisco used his vibe powers to come and save Barry, I was really happy and I was like, whoo, maybe this will salvage their relationship and start to get them back to where they used to be. Favorite moment number four is Julian Albert and Barry's relationship. To me, it was just one of the funnier parts of the episode because you could definitely tell from the jump that Julian Albert did not care for Barry at all. And the whole time, Barry was just like, what is up with this guy? Like, I have no reason why he doesn't like me. And the more and more Barry interacts with Julian, the more and more he realizes that he doesn't really care for Julian either because clearly Julian is just being a jerk to him. And so throughout the episode when Barry is mumbling under his breath like, I don't like that guy, then everybody is just like, yeah, you say that all the time. What's new? And I don't know, that was just really funny to me. But moving on to my next favorite moment, we see Caitlin Snow starting to get her frosty powers. You no, know, they kind of already hinted at that in the trailer which I thought was a big spoiler and they should have kept that one under wraps, but I don't know. I guess it got people more interested in the upcoming episodes in the new season. But yeah, I'm excited to see her have powers because frosty powers and being able to shoot ice. I don't know why I keep calling them frosty powers, but just what I'm going to call them from now on since her hero slash villain name is Killer Frost. But anyways, I really think those powers are cool and I'm excited to see her character use them and 
yeah, moving on to my final favorite moment, that West Allen kiss. Now, you know I was going to put the West Allen kiss in there. I don't know why you thought I was going to say something else. But yes, finally, there's a kiss that Iris will remember, hopefully cross fingers. But yeah, I think she'll remember this one. Even though I love that they recreated that kiss with them sitting on the porch and the light shining behind them and everything. To me, where they placed the kiss scene, it all seemed a little random. Like, I wish there was just, like, better setup for the kiss. It was just, like, you know, a little talking, and then he just went for it, which, I mean, go on ahead, Barry, but it was just a little random for me. Those were my top five favorite moments. I hope you enjoyed them. Comment below and tell me your favorite moments from the show, and be on the lookout for my top questions that I have from episode two. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any videos, and I'll catch up with y'all later. Bye.